I set out about um, two years ago to photograph some of the cities uh, that I'm most familiar with. I wanted to find a career in travel photography. My goal was to photograph well-known travel destinations in ways that were a bit more unusual than your typical travel guide or travel magazine pictures. People rarely, if ever, made it into my images. And when they did, it was a depiction of what they did and never really um, a depiction of how they felt to me. Uh, these gondolieri in Venice, for instance, are discussing the day's news. And in the next slide, these unsmiling fellows here uh, quietly haggling about the price of fish uh, at a fish market in Venice. After a few months and uh, thousands of pictures of this kind, I noticed a change happening in my photography. My pictures started to feel different. They felt different when I took them. And then they felt different when I edited and printed them. They were becoming quite unintentionally a connection between the world and myself, uh, between archetypes and myself. And I felt like I had suddenly found a way uh, to express my own inner worlds through my images. One day in New York City, people started showing up in my pictures in very different ways from before. There, they were no longer portraits of individual men or women. They were becoming almost generic. Uh, to me, they were becoming man or woman himself, herself. And I discovered in the process that my fellow humans seemed to be kind of lost and vulnerable. Uh, now, nobody is really lonely or, God forbid, vulnerable in our society, right? Uh, that intrigued me greatly, um, the fact that people seem different from the public version um, when I looked at them through my lens was worth exploring. So I dropped the travel photography, dropped the depiction of a more or less beautiful reality and started photographing mostly people and those aspects of theirs that seem to be totally disconnected from our everyday lives, um, from the public version of ourselves. I started working a lot with friends and a few models. And uh, on good days, after a few minutes of silence or daydreaming, um, a connection to the other emerges and a different flow of energy seems to set in. Well, we don't talk a lot. We just let things happen. Sometimes a friend will start to dance to a silent tune and the beauty of their soul becomes apparent. Sometimes they are still. Sometimes they move. I just follow most of the time. I do not give instructions. And um, I like shooting in old industrial buildings or out in the wilderness, uh, like here in the badlands of South Dakota. I still make um, images of, I still take pictures of, of buildings sometimes, but when I do, um, I try to find the human dimension of the building instead of just the architectural one. Uh, like in this picture of the abandoned mental asylum uh, up in uh, Augusta, Maine. Occasionally, both my subject and I find new or hidden aspects of ourselves. So lately, funny thing has happened, I have people who have seen my pictures come up to me and say, hey, I want you to photograph me. I want to see who I am beyond 
what I usually present to the world. Um, and that's really cool. That's what I really like doing. Uh, that's very gratifying. Um, I intentionally uh, blur my images in certain ways because I have the feeling that, or I move the camera while I take the picture, I have the feeling that uh, hidden aspects of that moment become apparent in that way. I do not quite know why, but that's how it feels to me. Um, so in this uh, transformation, in this process, I have become what I call a primitive photographer. I have no message. Um, I do not think my pictures, I feel them. And I discover that um, some people in my audience like my images, not because they'd be pretty, they aren't, um, but because the viewer can relate to some of them with his heart. Uh, some viewers say, yes, I know what's going on here. Uh, that is also part of myself. I can see myself here in this picture. And that is kind of the greatest compliment I can receive because it speaks of a connection. One thing that has become clear to me during this journey so far is that my art comes to life only in this connection with the uh, subject, uh, the individual viewer, and with the community that surrounds me, be it in galleries, coffee shops, ice cream parlors, or here with you tonight. So, Thank you very much indeed.